National Council of Educational Research and Training presents audiobook A Pact with the Sun A supplementary reader in English for class 6 page number 1 lesson 1 A Tale of Two Birds The synopsis of the first part is A mother bird and her two young ones lived in a forest The mother was killed in a storm and the young birds were separated from each other each found a different home now the listen there once lived a bird and her two newborn babies in a forest they had a nest in a tall shady tree and there the mother bird took care of her little ones day and night one day there was a big storm there was thunder lightning and rain and the wind blew down many trees the tall tree in which the birds lived also came down a big heavy branch hit the nest and killed the bird fortunately for the baby birds the strong wind blew them away to the other side of the forest one of them came down near a cave where a gang of robbers lived the other landed outside a rishi's ashram a little distance away page number 2 days passed and the baby birds became big birds one day the king of the country came to the forest to hunt he saw a deer and rode after it it ran deep into the forest followed by the king soon the king lost his way and didn't know where he was he rode on for a long time till he came to the other side of the forest very tired by now he got off his horse and sat down under a tree that stood near a cave suddenly he heard a voice cry out quick hurry up there is someone here under the tree come and take his jewels and his horse hurry or else he'll slip away the king was amazed he looked up and saw a big brown bird on the tree under which he was sitting he also heard faint noises issuing from the cave he quickly got on to his horse and rode away as fast as he could now the synopsis of the second part of the lesson the king was amazed to hear a similar voice again he came to know the bird's true story he met the rishi who explained the behavior of each bird now the second part of the lesson soon he came to a clearing which looked like an ashram it was the rishi's ashram the king tied his horse to a tree and sat down in its shade suddenly he heard a gentle voice announce welcome to the ashram sir please go inside and rest 
The rishi will be back soon. There is some cold water in the pot. Please make yourself comfortable. The king looked up and saw a big brown bird in the tree. He was amazed. This one looks like the other bird outside the cave. He said to himself aloud, You are right, sir, answered the bird. He is my brother, but he has made friends with robbers. He now talks as they do. He doesn't talk to me any more. Just then, the rishi entered the ashram. Page number three. Welcome, sir, he said to the king. Please come inside and make yourself at home. You look tired. Rest for a while. Then you can share my food. The king told the rishi the story of the two birds and how each had behaved so differently, though they looked so alike. The forest is full of surprises, he said. The holy man smiled and said, After all, one is known by the company one keeps. That bird has always heard the talk of robbers. He imitates them and talks about robbing people. This one has repeated that he has always heard. He welcomes people to the ashram. Now come inside and rest. I'll tell you more about this place and these birds. Now the questions. Question number one. How did the two baby birds get separated? Question number two. Where did each of them find a home? Question number three. What did the first bird say to the stranger? Question number four. What did the second bird say to him? Question number five. How did the Rishi explain the different ways in which the birds behaved? Question number six. Which one of the following sums up the story best? One. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush. Two. One is known by the company one keeps. Three. A friend in need is a friend indeed.